Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm out here in Germany at the BMW press garage picking up this Sao Paulo yellow X4M competition. I'm out here because I'm taking part in a BMW M track day. It's an experience that everyone can buy and it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. In fact, they invited me out a couple of years ago, but I couldn't come due to COVID restrictions. So today we're gonna to head over to Austria and the Red Bull Ring where the event is gonna take place tomorrow. So hopefully you enjoy this journey. circuit really quickly thanks to Lars the instructor and this car is so impressive I know it's impressive because I have a G80 myself but around here on a big circuit where you think a road car would feel a little bit sloppy I mean it's impressive especially considering we've got everything in comfort and efficient we've backed off none of those modes so it's basically in the default mode that you start the car up in in the morning for your journey to work so I'm looking forward to playing around with those settings and backing off some of those traction control settings especially out some of these slower corners and seeing what else the car has to unlock but so far wow <laughs> wow 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 what a circuit what a car what an instructor I mean what an experience wow I will. Thank you very much, Lars. Cheers. Well, that was epic. That was truly amazing. Um, just to touch upon what we've been talking about, that first session was in the most default setting. So when you get in your M3 or M4 in the morning and everything's backed off in comfort or efficiency, and that's what we were just doing that whole session in. And you wouldn't know it because the car feels so supported. Obviously, this has got M adaptive suspension but that was in the softest setting, but it's still really stable at high speeds. Um, I feel like I've learned so much in such a short period of time, but having Lars to follow is just amazing because when you've got a carrot in front of you, you can pick up everything very quickly. Um, and I was intimidated by the circuit before I drove it this morning and after about two or three laps, it felt lovely, it was nice and flowy. But a lot of that has to do with yeah, how good and stable this car is. I mean, it's crazy, this is a road car. We're on PS4S's as well, we're not on Cup 2's. So when we ramp it up a bit later, put everything in a bit of a stiffer setting, maybe back off some of the traction control, um, there's still a lot more to come from this car. But yeah, 
what a way to wake up. I can't believe I was in bed about two hours ago and now I'm just like buzzing. I feel like I've actually drunk about seven Red Bulls, but I haven't this morning. So uh, yeah, I'm feeling really, really excited and, uh, and chuffed with the morning so far. So can't wait for the afternoon session. I'm gonna go and find something to drink and maybe calm down a little bit. Let the tire temps drop and let my heart drop a little bit. settings in the uh, setup menu uh, for that little section I was in Sport Plus in terms of throttle response uh, I was in Sport Plus in terms of the M adaptive suspension so the stiffest chassis setup uh, I had the steering in Sport as well normally in my M3 I'd have it in Comfort but actually around here it was quite good I got lots of feel uh, and then I had the brakes in Sport as well and that was really good because it gave me a lot more assistance and the feel was actually better in sport on the brakes than it is in comfort on the racetracks. Uh, so the M traction control, I backed that off to six on that session. I could still feel, feel it intervening uh, out of some of the slower hairpins. Um, I'm hoping that eventually we can turn it completely off and I'll just use my right foot as the traction control. Um, but it's really good, the 10-way traction control. It's not intrusive and you can feel each stage uh, it feels very different. If it was wet out here, I'd have it on at least five or six today. Uh, but I think my aim, as I say, is to turn it completely off and uh, see what I'm like without the car's traction aids kicking in. Peeling back into the pit. Gonna knock back another bottle of water. It's really warm today, 20 degrees outside. Um, just perfect weather. It's not too hot. If it was 30, temperatures would go up a lot quicker. So it's perfect track day temperature. Roll into the pits at 60 kilometers per hour. Wow.
been an epic morning. I've been following Lars, my instructor, who has been so helpful. It's been awesome following someone like a carrot because I'm able to spot their braking, I'm able to spot their turning, their apex, everything. And I've learned so much in such a short period of time. In fact, by about lap four, I felt reasonably confident out there. We did a first session, which consisted of about two 20 minute sessions. Came in, had a bit of a briefing, let the car and the tires cool down a bit. Then on the second part of the second session, uh, I went out and took the lead and Lars sat behind me watching my lines, watching my speed, watching my braking points, just checking if I was able to do similar sort of lap times on my own without him being the carrot. So we're gonna go out and do a final session where I can really push, put the settings in what I want it to be. And then after that, well, this has all been preparing for my M4 GT4 lap. So I'm gonna go out there in a race car and really experience what braking and g-forces in the corners feel like because i can't imagine it's going to be any quicker in a straight line compared to the road cars the road cars um but i think yeah braking and cornering is just going to be next level with slick tires etc especially in this weather it's about 25 degrees now so very exciting day um yeah can't wait to get back out there m track day experiences well there's simulators here so you can try and set a fast lap time and in fact the fastest lap time gets a passenger ride with timo glock xf1 um, legend and touring car driver bmw factory driver i should get a lap with timo later which is going to be awesome um, and alongside the simulators we've also got the red bull drift brothers uh, and they're sort of demonstrating their skills out there on a sort of drift pan and teaching paying customers how to drift, the basic skills of drifting. So as a bit of a bonus today, I'm actually gonna jump in this M4 competition behind me and have a quick drifting lesson by one of the Drift Brothers. Do you wanna introduce yourself? And, uh... Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm Elias, Joe is driving in the background with one of the guests here. And we have these awesome M4 competitions to show all the customers here some drifting and yep. you invited as well. So first we jump in, just do the circle yep. and then you jump on the wheel and yeah, have some fun hopefully. Fantastic, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm not, I'm not much of a drifter myself. I'm more of a, I like the racing circuit, but it's always handy I think. It's always a good skill to have, even for the road, because if you have an incident or if the car does get out of control, very good for your uh, car control so exactly actually even even race drivers like top level race drivers I can 
really advise to do a drift training because yes. once you've been over the limit and experienced what you can do over the limit still, yep. you're so much more under control, especially in wet conditions, wet races or like tricky conditions, patchy and stuff. Because most of the time people, once oversteer occurred and they don't expect it, they release throttle immediately. Yep. And this is the biggest mistake. Get the snap. Yeah. Exactly. Then yeah. the snapback comes and most most yeah, violent crashes happen. Yep. And this is something you can experience here quite easy. Yep. You just keep your foot down, counter steer and then slowly release the throttle and yep. bring it back. Okay. No, but in Always a drift, amazing, thank man. you very much, thank you. In a drift car, I would be horrible out there, but in a road car, I'm, 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 I'm a bit better. I was about to tell you. Were you? No yeah. way! <laughs> like, I never do that. Oh. It looks so, you look at home, man. Thank you. Oh, well, that's, yeah, it's a massive compliment coming from you guys. Okay. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Tandem. Oh, God. <laughs> That was quite scary having him behind me. It was awesome and then it was like, the pressure was there. Uh, oh man, that was honestly one of the best things I've ever done. First tandem! <laughs> Mate, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Really, really that was, nice. that, it was quite scary, like with you behind me. And then when I started to get, I thought, oh shit. And I was like, oh no, man. I think you've seen it before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. I never do this. Fantastic. I never do this. Like you can ask him. Yeah. The only guy I did it with was uh, JP. Wow. I don't know if you know. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've yeah. been on events with him. That's the yeah. only guy okay. ever. Wow. Who's not a professional drift dive rope together with. Fantastic. Well, thank you. That's compliment. a massive compliment. It thank is, you very much. That's good driving. Thank you.
probably the best experience I've ever had in my life. Definitely the best experience I've had behind the wheel. So, unbelievable. Really, really unbelievable. Um, but I was only just beginning to understand the car. <laughs> and the grip levels. Unreal, what a piece of kit. I want one of these. Wow. I don't know where to start. Obviously, I couldn't talk through those laps because it was so loud in the car and I was focusing so much on not putting it into a barrier. Um, but there was so much more left in the tank and I think we did about five laps and by the fifth lap, I was getting the confidence of the turning, the braking, the grip levels with slick tyres alone. It's just a completely different game changer. But what was interesting was I looked down at the speed um, down this first straight and actually it was about 20k an hour slower than the road car which really shows you how fast the road car is my last experience of the day and the reason that i'm still sort of wearing my race suit is because i'm going to go out with timo glock as a passenger in one of these m4 gt4s and he's actually going to show me how it can be done and how fast you can go around the red bull ring so i'm really excited about that i'm trying not to eat too much cake and food in general because I don't want it coming back up again in the car. And then I'll wrap the day up after I've been out with him.
experience we started the day in the m4 competition road car following lars learning the circuit learning the racing lines and the braking zones etc building my confidence up getting a bit quicker throughout the day we had three sessions of about 45 minutes and once again my mind was blown by the m4 competition as a road car on pilot sport 4s tires which are essentially a high performance road tire they weren't even on cut twos so we had some brilliant sessions out there my confidence levels went really high, especially when he was behind me and following me and every time he came into the pits, he gave me a lot of encouragement and little tips as to how to improve. We then moved up quite a long way to, well, this is an M2 CS race car, but I went into the M4 GT4 race car. Uh, obviously that's on slicks, it's a racing car, so it's a lot lighter, it's on slicks. I'm in harnesses, I'm sitting on the floor, and that experience was just mind-blowing. I think we managed about six laps out there, which was just enough time to sort of understand some of the car, understand how hard you could break into the braking zones. I was left foot braking, and just to give you an idea of how hard I was braking, I was pushing about 85 kilos with my left foot, and the turn in and the corner speed, the grip that you got was unreal. So I came in thinking that, you know, I had a reasonably good lap, um, traction control was wound all the way on, so that was a bit intrusive out of some of the slower stuff. But you know, I thought, that's all right, that was pretty quick. Then Timo Glock, ex F1 driver, BMW factory driver, took me out for a passenger lap. And I mean, <laughs> the braking zones, they didn't exist. I mean, he obviously wasn't reading any of the braking sort of markers because we were going well into sort of 100 meter deep uh, braking zones. and. Yeah, he just completely reset my mind again as to what the M4 GZ4 race car could do. Obviously, he had the traction control off and was getting some lovely big slides going and stuff. But the talent, I mean, the guy is just, as you can imagine, one of the most talented drivers on the planet. So that was really cool. We then went to a completely different discipline uh, with the Red Bull Drift Brothers. And I actually had a play around with those guys earlier on, as you've seen, um, met them jumped in an M4 road car, managed to do a few skids, um, and had a lot of fun. In fact, I think that's one of their race cars starting up now. They took me out for, well, the shorter lap <laughs> of the circuit, and it was mind-blowing, it really was. I've obviously watched drifting uh, online on YouTube and TV and stuff, uh, but it's just so alien to me. I mean, firstly, I think you have to take a few brain cells out, almost like an Isle of Man TT rider. Uh, but secondly, you need that talent to be able to do that. And I just can't believe how close we were drifting. And obviously they were saying to us, that's nothing like competition. They were being quite safe. But that experience was really quite mind blowing. The only improvement that could have happened today was actually when I was in the M4 competition road cars, the fact we couldn't play at all with the 10 way traction control. And I understand these are like 100,000 euros each and it's a high risk. But I think for someone that does a lot of track days and their level is reasonably high already, um, the first thing I wanna do in something rear wheel drive with this much grip is back all of the traction off or turn it off completely. 
I did get half a session with it sort of backed off, but I wasn't allowed to do that. I didn't realize at the time. So yeah, that would be my only little nitpick from today. Um, although with everything switched on, they're still amazing. It's not that intrusive, uh, but I think that just took that tiny bit of fun and enjoyment away from me. Um, but otherwise, I mean, what an experience, what a day. Thanks a lot to BMW M for giving me this amazing experience.